A number of years ago, I had an interview in New York City and I was racing into the city frantically looking for parking and I couldn't find a spot to park. I finally found a lot in a garage where there was an automated parking meter. It was a little shady, so I was somewhat reluctant to park there, but I didn't have time. I pulled out my credit card, parked my car, inserted my card into this parking meter. I was successful parking, did my interview, left the city. Unbeknownst to me, I found out the next day and the days throughout the week that my card had numerous charges, out of state charges for things that I didn't purchase. Yes, my card was skimmed. There's gotta be a way to solve this problem of cyber criminals putting skimmers into pumps and card readers and ATMs stealing our cards. What is a card skimmer? It's really just a second magnetic head that is stealing the track one and track two data off the mag stripe of everybody's credit card when they put it into the card reader. So that's what we really focused on. How can we come up with a detection tool to determine if there's a second magnetic read head inside of the card reader? And so we began prototype after prototype, design and tweaking algorithms. And we finally came up with a product we called SkimScan to combat the problem. Well, the challenge is, how do we know if it works? We went to various gas stations, we went to various banks, and we would simply take a camera with us and film what we were doing so we could bring back some information to the engineering staff to see what worked, what didn't work. Shortly after some of our testing, we got a knock on our door at our company in Metuchen, New Jersey, and it was a couple investigative officers. And they were with the Cyber uh, Criminal Division, and they had a big thick file and said, can we uh, talk to you in private? So I took them into the conference room a little nervous and said, is there, is there a problem officer? And they said, well, yeah, we've got a file here and we've been observing yourself and your partner going to different banks and gas stations, jiggling something and doing something and filming it. And we kind of chuckled hesitantly and said, well, we actually developed this tool called the Skim Scan and it's used to catch the bad guys. So we're good guys, we're working with you. Getting the feedback from law enforcement, from banks, from gas stations, really helped us fine tune the design and improve it. Look on an ATM, you probably saw this and you hear often, oh, if you check the bezel, just simply jiggle it. If it pops off, there could be a skimmer inside. And here's an example of an old one with an actual skimmer inside. You don't see this that much more. Why? It's really because deep insert skimmers such as this one are slid down into the neck of the card reader. And when that is in there, you cannot see it with the naked eye. So there's no plastic bezels to shake or see if there's a skimmer in there. You can't see it. You need a tool that goes inside to actually measure if there's a second magnetic head. And hence, the skim scan really took off as cyber criminals migrated away from the traditional bezel-based skimmers that are put on the outside to the deep insert skimmers inside that we're working more effectively for them. And I think that's what really launch the skim scan. Suddenly we were getting orders, not just a couple here and there, we were selling thousands of units a year. And that continues to this day because of the deep insert skimmer threat. Deep insert skimmers can be bought on the dark web for around six to $700. There's how to videos. And on top of that, there's many Romanian cyber criminal gangs that have come into the United States in the thousands. So law enforcement has got their work to, to really capture all of these criminals, hunt them down and, and get them arrested. It's been a big challenge, but they're doing a great job. And they're using the skim scan to do that by going to different gas pumps and ATMs and finding these cyber criminals and doing sting operations so they can actually get video footage and evidence working closely with the customer, law enforcement, the petroleum industry, the financial institution, gave us the rich feedback that we need to innovate and make a product that is simple to use, yet very effective and affordable. And building up an inventory, we had to build up thousands of units on our shelf so we could instantly respond to the ongoing demand because it's a very impulse type of buy. Two billion dollars in skimming in the US each year that's being reported, which is an astronomical number. It's nice to know that with the skim scan, we're actually making a difference. Persistence leads to success. And that's very important. You have to believe in the idea, be passionate about it, and then just keep improving it and listen to the feedback. It's okay to hear negative feedback because that's gonna help you improve the product, make it better, refine it, 
So that way you could make a tool that ultimately helps make a difference 